Hey, everybody. Welcome to today's show. Welcome to Disabled Reality. I'm your host, Anthony Laredo Duke, and we have a very interesting topic for today's show, which it is forgiveness. So let's get right into this. I mean, this is a real tough one, ladies and gentlemen, a real tough one. You know, a lot of people say, oh, always, always just forgive and forget. I believe in forgiving, but not forgetting. Because if you forget, then the lesson has not been learned. And even when you forgive somebody, you got to reset the boundary lines. It's not going to be the same relationship as it was before. Now, on the other hand, like if it's just small, tiny little things, if it's something small that you could just brush off and go, ah, doesn't matter, you know, but as long as it's not constant little things all the time and not the same little things all the time, because otherwise you got to, you know, set the, set the boundary lines. You got to set the rules and the regulations. And there's, you know, so many people out there that say, Relationships of any kind shouldn't have rules and regulations. They shouldn't have, they should not have boundaries. Pure pathetic BS. Pure pathetic BS. Because if you do that, then you're just setting yourself up to, setting yourself up to be a welcome mat where just people walk all over you. And you don't want that. You don't want that at all. And, you know, this even goes for professional life too. You know, you got to set the boundary lines with people. And, you know, depending upon the situation, it's not always easy to to just forgive. And some people can't just forgive. It depends upon the situation. You know, if you're stealing billions and billions of dollars from your, your business partner and stuff, you know, hello, common sense. They're not going to forgive you, and that's that. But we'll get into like the personal life side. You know, if if people say you know that they're sorry, it takes a mature adult to forgive them. But like I said, you got to reset the boundary lines, and they have to prove themselves. You know, it's easy for for people to just uh, say, "Oh, I'm sorry." You know, they can't just talk the talk. They got to walk the walk, too. You got to prove yourself in life. Seriously. And, you know, none of us in life are perfect. Nobody in life is perfect. You know, all the perfect people are dead and six feet under. That's where all the perfect people are. And you also have to look at your yourself in your own life. Like you we were all screw ups in life at some point. And sometimes even major screw ups at some point. We all were. You know? And we have to sometimes look at ourselves and say, you know what? I'm not perfect and I screwed over a hell of a lot of people in my life. And, you know, if I want that forgiveness, I got to prove that I'm truly sorry. You got to prove yourself in life. And there's a lot of people out there that will say, oh, why do you have to prove yourself? You don't have to prove yourself to anybody. We all have to prove ourselves in life. That's a part of life. You got to prove yourself. Because it's easy to talk the talk, but it's tougher and more important. You got to walk that walk. Because again, anybody could just turn around and say, oh, I'm sorry, and that's it, and not even really mean it. You got to prove yourself. You got to prove yourself. 
you know, and a lot of people disagree with that, but, you know, they live in fantasy land. Seriously, the real world, you got to prove yourself. Honestly, and no matter what age you are, and there's some elderly people out there that say, I'm too old, I don't have to prove myself to anybody. We all have to prove ourselves, no matter what age we are. Seriously. You know, because there's even a lot of elderly people who think that their stuff don't stink and they can treat anybody disgustingly horrible like they want to. And that's not right. You don't do that. You know, and don't get me wrong, that also happens at, at any age. There's a lot of different people at different ages that think that their stuff don't stink. You know? And we all have to pay the piper one day, ladies and gentlemen. For whatever screw-ups we did in life, you think you're going to escape it? No. You're going to have, we all have to pay the piper one day. And here's another thing. Even if a person forgives you, they're not doing it for you. They're doing it for themselves so that they no longer carry the burden uh, on them of uh, the anger inside them and stuff like that. They let it all go. When they say they forgive you, they're doing it for themselves so they no longer, so they no longer hold on to that anger. They let it go. But you still got to prove yourself in life. You got to prove you're sorry. You know? And for those that are doing the forgiving, they may not prove it as you want them to. But you got to look at it as if they do prove themselves you know, they're making that effort, even if it's not to your satisfaction, you got to be a mature adult and say, okay, I accept it. You don't go around saying, ah, you didn't do it to my satisfaction. No, it's not right. And two wrongs do not make a right. So this is a, this is a tough topic. This is a, a tough topic for a lot of people. And there's a lot of people out there who don't forgive people because they've been hurt so many times, even by the same person. Because that person said they were sorry, but didn't really mean it. You know, so it's hard for a lot of people to forgive. And so... And there's a lot of people out there who say, I don't give a damn what I did to that person. I don't care. I don't have to say I'm sorry. I just do what I did and that's it. And I can get away with it and that's it. You got to pay the piper. Karma is an SOB. Karma is an SOB. And let me tell you something. What goes around comes around three, three times fold and each one is worse than the one prior. So watch out for that last one. And we have to accept our punishments in life, too. We have to accept them. Even as adults, we have to accept them. When we do wrong, we have to accept whatever punishment that is given upon us. You know? And so, anyways, I wanted to remind all my fans out there about my business, my website. Of Advocate Information Highway, and the link to there is AIHNY.com. Again, that is AIHNY.com. You guys can check out all the pages on there and on the store page of my website. If you guys click on the store page of my website, you will see links on there. And one of the links that's on there is to uh, my internet store on Zazzle.com. If you click on that link to the to my internet store on Zazzle.com. It will bring you right to my internet store on Zazzle.com. And on there, on my internet store on Zazzle.com, you will see all the products that I design and that are up for sale on there. And so with that, take care, everybody. Bye.